So, as I'm sure many of you are aware, Snapchat has really started delving into the idea of making their own television shows. Um, they're all in vertical format, and they are loaded with ads, and I haven't found a good one yet. There are some cute ones, like the ones um, about people with differences, and I find those um, really cute. I can't find myself really getting um, attached to any of these shows because um, the ads just get in the way a lot. And for me, I just hate ads. One of the shows that I saw is produced by Overtime. And it is something I discovered on Snapchat, but is also on YouTube. And the show is called Hello Newmans. And um, Hello Newmans is about Julian Newman and his sister Jaden Newman, their father Jamie Newman, and their mom, who really never shows up, at least from the little bits that I've watched. Um, Jamie Newman, the father, is the owner, coach, athletic director of Prodigy Prep, which, according to the show, is a, um, a new school in Florida. Can't find a website for it. Um, and the big thing the show is about is it's about Julian Newman, who, to his credit, is pretty popular, um, or at least was, for a long time. He went viral um, a bunch of years ago for being on the varsity basketball team as like a fifth grader, which is incredible. Um, that That's really special. One of the big things that I've noticed about Hello Newman's is basically... It's just a knockoff ball family. Um, Jamie Newman is basically trying to be LeVar Ball, except he's not nearly as abrasive and annoying. And I honestly think it kind of hurts the show because he's not LeVar Ball. And don't get me wrong, I cannot stand the Ball family. But the Ball family, they are popular because of how controversial they are. And I don't think the Newman family is very controversial at all. All right, so we're going to watch um, a couple episodes of Hello Newman, and you're just going to see what I'm talking about. I'm Julian Newman, and I'm the most famous baller on the web. Four foot five, but is playing varsity basketball. From Orlando, Julian handles Newman. Some people love me, <laughs> some people hate me. Hey, Ju. Rise and grind, baby. Rise and grind. Rise and grind, baby. Rise and grind. Everybody know the Newmans are at the top. Everybody wants a piece. All I gotta say is, come to daddy. So one of the big things that they try to make seem clear about Julian Newman is that he is a prodigy. Which, you know, when he was a little kid playing on the varsity team, I'm sure you could make that case. But now he is a senior in high school. If you're not recruited by, like, one of the top schools... Like high schools, and your dad has to make your own team for you, you're probably not that great. Prodigy brand started, of course, with Julian and Jaden. When you look up the word prodigy, you see Julian and Jaden. I'm gonna test out the theory. Nope, don't see a picture. Go to grandma's real quick. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so he's allowed to just be like, oh, yeah, you're gonna take your sister to the salon in the middle of the day. That makes sense. Julian was not happy about it. Well, they got a game tomorrow. They got a game? It starts tomorrow? But who, like, makes a salon appointment in the middle of the school day? Like, come on. Like, that's irresponsible for the dad for, like, allowing his daughter to do that. And it's irresponsible for him to be like, oh, yeah, and your brother's going to take you. Okay. Is the word gym... Like, smeared in peanut butter? Or something? The heck? We're getting ready for this huge game versus Spire Academy, LaMelo Ball, BBB. So, they're about to face um, LaMelo Ball, who is part of the Ball family that I told you about. So, basically, they're trying to use the Ball family to be like, yeah, we're in the same league. I don't know where the heck he is, but he better have a good excuse. Let's see here where we're going to put this pop-up shot. Let's see. All right, so the dad is only concerned about selling his merch and trying to out LeVar Ball, LeVar Ball, 
Which is fine if you're not the freaking coach. This is marketing at its finest. Marketing 101, getting out to the people, putting in front of their faces at big opportunities like this. I love these little kids because they're like just there, but they're not really sure what's going on. And I do like how they're kind of making Jamie look kind of ridiculous. No one cares about LeBron. You won't hear about um, Houston, James Harden. What you're gonna hear about is Donnie Christian shocking the world for a week. One thing I just wanna point out, I looked at Prodigy Prep and they are one in six. So they decide to have a snowball fight in the snow, which isn't even good. It's like a war zone out here. Did you see that? Nothing happened. It was just like, whoo. I know, I know they're from Florida, so they don't get much snow. But like, it's not, it's not a good snowball fight. At all. Hey, get out here, Dick! Oh! All of a sudden, I just hear this pop. I look over, and Julie's on the ground. There was no pop. He fell because he slipped. He's gonna be fine. All of a sudden, I slipped. It was like lights out. Look at his eyes, ear. Hey, how about you show us the side that hurts? Because obviously, he is fine. I almost got killed. You didn't almost get killed. You fell. You almost got killed yesterday by LaMelo Ball, which you did get killed. You guys got crushed. I go on Instagram and I see hella people talking mad trash. People just love to hate on us, but they don't even know who we are. I'm tired of all these people talking All right, here's the thing about that. One thing that we constantly hear from celebrities or... Well, I just call them celebrities. From people who have followings is, oh, I hate people talking trash. I hate people talking crap. First of all, you guys are doing this constantly in the show. And second of all, that's one of the things that comes with having a following. If you have a problem with it, then maybe go off the grid a little bit. Or don't look at the comments. It's gonna happen. So my big thing about Helen Newman's is it's just store brand ball family. And you know, it's just very cringy and I don't know, I think it's pretty badly produced. I think they could probably do a much more compelling show if they focused on people with character. But hey, that's what they chose to do with this show. Let me know what you think and um, have a great day.